Welcome back to 1985 as we continue our look at the G.I. Joe toy line by Hasbro. Last time we checked out Series 4, we took a look at the covert op specialist, Lady J. This time we're focusing on the G.I. Joe team's silent and deadly ninja commando, Snake Eyes, and his wolf, Timber, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we're checking out Snake Eyes version 2 and his wolf, Timber, from the 1985 G.I. Joe toy line by Hasbro. Snake Eyes' real name is classified, as is his place of birth. His primary military specialty is infantry, and his secondary military specialty is hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor. Before joining G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes served in long-range recon patrols in Southeast Asia. He then spent years training with the same family that produced the Cobra Ninja, Storm Shadow. Through his experiences, Snake Eyes has become the best of the best. If he can't complete the mission, odds are no one can. And now that we know a bit more about Snake Eyes, let's take a closer look. So this is Snake Eyes version 2, and the big difference between him and the original version is mostly that you can actually see his mouth on this version, and he also has this visor that reminds me of a medieval knight. It's pretty cool looking. You can also see that he has a bandolier here across his chest, and there are three grenades. He also has extra pouches here on his arms for gear. Also note that his bandolier and belt are kind of a light gray color to break him up a little bit. Here on his wrist, he has an arrow that he can fire off, kind of like a mini wrist crossbow. And on his other wrist, he has what I assume is probably a dive watch or some type of military watch. Now here on his leg, you can see he has a nice dagger, pretty sweet. And on the other leg, he has a sidearm, which I really wish you could take out. Further down his legs, you can see more pouches around his ankles for even more gear. And then his boots, of course, down here at the bottom are pretty slick looking with no laces to get caught on anything. All in all, this figure is fantastic and I love him. Snake Eyes is a silent killing machine. He's basically G.I. Joe's ninja. And honestly, I pity any Cobra officer or soldier that has to face him. Uh, sir, I'm really bored. Soldier, just shut up and keep guarding. Yeah, but what are we even guarding? There's nothing out here. This beach is a primary spot for the Joe team to sneak up on us. Keep vigilant. They can show up at any time. Fine. Okay. What? You thought I was going to make fun of Snake Eyes? I don't think so. He is a total badass. Now we're going to go ahead and check out his articulation. So here at his knee, he does have a 90 degree bend. And then here at the hip, he has a ball joint so he can kind of swing forward and all around. The waist has a rubber band so he can swivel as well as lean forward or back. His shoulder can swivel up. It can also swivel around. Forearm has a swivel as well and a 90 degree bend. Head is on a ball joint so he can look down, left and right. He can also look up. And that is it. That covers all 10 points of articulation for Snake Eyes. Now we're going to take a look at Snake Eyes' accessories, starting with his pet wolf, Timber. I like this accessory quite a bit. He is pretty good looking. I like the sculpt. He has a good face. The fur looks nice. You can see he's got his tail back here. And just in general, even though it's just a little statue, I really dig this. I think they did a great job, and I'm happy they included him with the figure. Now we're going to take a look at Snake Eyes' second accessory, his Ninja Sword. This is pretty sweet looking. You can see the hilt is actually asymmetrical. It's not broken. This side is supposed to be different. Also, the blade has got a really interesting shape to it, and the handle's got a little bit of texture where he looks like he wraps something around it for more grip. And all in all, it's a pretty unique sword. It's a lot better than just a standard katana, I think. He also holds it no problem, as you can see. The sword fits in his hand perfectly. Now we're going to take a look at his backpack. There's actually quite a bit of detail etched into it, and it's also on the little pouches here. It's difficult to make out, though, because it's so dark. But there is a main compartment and two smaller compartments, as well as a place to hold the sword. But the sword does not fit in mine, because mine's like a factory defect. If you look right here, you can see there's, it's not all the way cut out. It's hard to tell, but let me flip it the other way. 
And there you go. You see, a whole area is not cut away. So the sword doesn't want to fit in there, and it never has. So you take the sword, and if you slide it in the way it's supposed to go, see, it just gets jammed. It cannot make it through there because it just won't fit. But you can take it and shove it in sideways. And this is something I used to do. And as you can see, it actually bends the sword. It's not a good idea to do this. And it's also torn up the blade a little bit by me doing that so much when I was growing up. As you can see, it's kind of jaggedy. I don't know anyone else who has a Snake Eyes version 2 backpack like this, but if you do, let me know. Of course, it does peg into his back like all G.I. Joe backpacks. You just plug it in and there you go. It's just that easy. Snake Eyes final accessory is his Uzi submachine gun, which sadly I do not have anymore. But here's a picture of it just so you know what it looked like. Now we're going to take a look at Snake Eyes copyright information. On the inside of his left leg, you can see 1985 Hasbro, and on the back of the figure, made in Hong Kong. Before we move forward, here's a quick look at Snake Eyes file card. If you'd like to read it, pause now. And now for our He-Man size comparison. Snake Eyes and Timber are quite a bit smaller than He-Man, but He-Man definitely respects their friendship. After all, he has his own furry friend, Battle Cat. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Snake Eyes version 2 and Timber from the 1985 G.I. Joe toy line by Hasbro. Snake Eyes and Timber are two of my absolute favorites from the G.I. Joe toy line. I actually held off on doing this figure for a while because I wanted to track down his Uzi, but man, that thing is very expensive and it'll probably be a while before I decide to pick one up. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would certainly appreciate it and would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy for my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.